to be heard. <laughs> I don't want you to be heard. <laughs> I wrote a little poem for Henry. I'm going to read it in a minute. But first I want to say there's two criteria for being very old. Henry, Drinking. Henry doesn't need any of them. The one I always thought, when they start saying you're, you're 75 years young or you're 80 years young, and they say you're young, that means you're old. So nobody's saying that, so you're good. <laughs> the other thing is you need to be younger than the Pope. Hey! All right. And the Pope's got four years on you, Henry. So you're, <laughs> you're still young. All right, I, I wrote this for Henry, my little tribute to him. So here we go. I wrote this short poem because I have something to say that honors my brother on this special day. When I was born, no way could I see, I would have two dads to take care of me. <laughs> this man you see here is much more than my brother. I learned things from him I would learn from no other. I don't think he knew just how much as a kid I paid attention to everything he did. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I got a drink, wait a minute. <laughs> he played basketball for St. Mary's and I watched him play from the bleachers as he jumped to the sky. He was king of Perth Amboy and rode with his queen in a parade through the town, the coolest thing I've ever seen. He walked to Harrisburg one day just to settle a score with his friends at the Mount, 50 miles or more. He gave me my first car. A cool, a cool convertible machine. I told it in a month. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for baby. I was only 17. <laughs> Our dad taught us music, and it's very well known that Hank sings barbershop and still plays his trombone. He taught me about golf. Now there's a game he could play. He hit it a mile. He still does to this day. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Only now when he swings, he tries to take care not to finish his swing with one leg in the air. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Found that little white ball with a mighty hit, followed by those two little words, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> he took me and Bob on trips to Luray, where he could be heard talking six holes away. <laughs> <laughs> See, Henry is loud, we all know that, but at least you always know where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to drive and stay on the go. With his Jeep, he drove 400,000 miles or so. Yep. Then COVID came and locked us all home. But there's no way that Henry could sit and not roam. <laughs> True story. He said, I can't sit here. There's too much to see. So we went out and bought an RV. <laughs> he loaded that coach with beer, wine, and soda. Then Marianne, too, and a woman named Rhoda. <laughs> he headed out west to State Park just for fun and drove 6,000 miles by the time he was done. He lives life the way everyone should. He greets you in the morning with the words, Life, life is, is good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, there's another oh, verse. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, geez, sit down. <laughs> he means it too, and he lives it every day. The world is his playground. Hank's come to play. He won't miss Mass on Sunday because he knows he's been blessed with good friends and family. God's given him the best. Henry, you keep traveling, enjoying all you do. You've come a long way, but you're not really through. You're a little bit older and not quite as tall, but you haven't really slowed down at all. We all know you, Henry, and here's the thing. We can't wait to see what the next decade will bring. 